Understanding Creature Comforts, a Guide to Everyday Luxuries. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, creature comforts. This term is used quite often, but what does it really mean? We'll explore its meaning, origin, and how you can use it in everyday English. So, let's get comfortable and start learning. Creature comforts refer to the simple luxuries or basic physical comforts that contribute to a person's contentment or well-being. These are not extravagant items, but rather the small things that make life more pleasant or comfortable. Examples include a cozy bed, warm clothing, good food, or a comfortable chair. The phrase often implies a sense of homeliness and satisfaction derived from these simple pleasures. The term, creature comforts, has an interesting history. It dates back to the early 19th century. The word, creature, in this context doesn't refer to an animal, but rather to human beings, as, creature, can mean any living being created by God. Thus, creature comforts, are comforts suitable for a human being. Let's see how to use this phrase in everyday conversation. 1. After a long hike, all I want are some creature comforts like a hot shower and a soft bed. 2. When studying abroad, I miss the creature comforts of home, like my mom's cooking. 3. The hotel offered all the creature comforts we could need, making our stay very relaxing. These examples show how the phrase can be used in different contexts to express a longing or appreciation for basic comforts. Understanding similar phrases can broaden your vocabulary. Some synonyms or related phrases include home comforts, items or features that make a home feel cozy and comfortable. Comforts of home, similar to home comforts, emphasizing the pleasant aspects of being at home. Simple pleasures, enjoyment derived from uncomplicated or ordinary things. I hope this exploration of creature comforts has been enlightening and enjoyable. Remember, it's all about the little things that make life more comfortable and pleasant. Keep practicing, and don't forget to find joy in your own creature comforts. Until next time, happy learning!